Suppose someone you know is admitted to the hospital after a serious car crash, a fire, or even a severe infection like pneumonia, as millions in the US are each year. In response to these infections or injuries, the body produces cytokines and other substances that help activate the immune system, which then generates controlled inflammation to help fight the infection and heal injured areas of the body. However, in life-threatening illnesses that are treated in the intensive care unit like sepsis, trauma, severe burn injury, and many others, the body's immune system often goes haywire, producing massive quantities of cytokines that make even more cytokines in a vicious cycle called cytokine storm. Cytokine storm leads to toxic, uncontrolled inflammation, which can cause vital organs such as the heart, lungs, kidney, and liver to fail. Failure of multiple organs like these are the leading cause of death in roughly half of all patients admitted to the ICU, killing hundreds of thousands of people and costing tens of billions of dollars each year in the US alone. Cytosorbents Corporation, ticker symbol CTSO, has developed a blood purification cartridge called Cytosorb that can combat cytokine storm to potentially save lives. The Cytosorb cartridge is filled with polymer beads that act like sponges to capture excessive cytokines. A standard hospital hemodialysis machine draws blood from the patient, pumps it through the cytosorb cartridge, and then returns the purified blood back to the patient, thereby removing cytokines and reducing the inflammation. Cytosorb has initial data suggesting it can save lives while reducing time spent in the ICU, saving money for both patients and hospitals. This is potentially revolutionary, as no other therapy has been able to do this. Cytosorb cartridges are single-use disposables, mimicking the razor, razor blade business model. This allows the cartridges to be sold at a very high profit margin. In 2011, Cytosorbents received European Union regulatory approval under the CE mark, completed a large clinical study, ramped commercial manufacturing at its facility in New Jersey, and established reimbursement in Germany, its first target market. In June 2012, the company officially launched Cytosorb in Germany with a direct sales force. It also plans to expand in the EU and in other countries that accept the CE mark through partners or distributors. These commercialization efforts may be further enhanced in the future if the company obtains US FDA approval. In the meantime, the company continues to invest heavily in research and development with 29 issued U.S. patents and a growing pipeline of new products that it hopes to commercialize through strategic partnerships. These technologies have also attracted more than $4 million in funding from the U.S. military and government agencies like DARPA, known for their cutting-edge research. And that's what makes Cytosorbents an exciting play for investors. For more information about Cytosorbents Corporation, visit their Investorial at www.investorials.com slash companies slash CTSO.